What's up guys, it's Brian from Beat Turismo and today we are going to finally get to work on some of these winter projects. This one is going to be to uh, delete the rear wiper. Just don't need it, don't drive the car in the rain, it gets in the way of the view. And uh, yeah, it's probably like, what, 12 extra ounces that we just don't need to carry around. So, let's get to work. I forget what all needs to be done other than Basically, this piece needs to come out because the screws that hold this thing on. Oops, I'm not looking up here, sorry. This needs to come out, this plastic, because the screws that hold, um, or the, the bolts that hold the um, wiper assembly to the trunk lid are underneath this plastic cover. I've had this apart once before and it went pretty well. I had the part to actually to remove the, the low wing when I first got the car tinted, um, it was early in the, like, I guess it was pretty early on in the life cycle of the Type R and the hatchback. Um, so they didn't have uh, a good template to use. So I pulled my wing off and just went that way. So that way they could, you know, shrink the film to the glass without having the wing in the way. All right, well, that's the first step. So. So there it is, so there's the wiper, and that's how much is blocked in our view, and we just wanna get rid of that, so. First step is to, actually, indirectly the first step is to remove this. You probably could go in and just take off the, there's just a couple of screws underneath here that hold these um, handles in place. Like, you, and you take these caps off, these covers off here, and then you can get to those screws. I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed because I don't want to take a chance on dropping any of this stuff onto the freshly ceramic coated bumper. So uh, you're not gonna get to see that, but basically you can take a little um, flathead or something and just sort of pry in here. You're gonna need to replace these most likely because it seems like once they come out, they're broke. Um, and what I was getting at was you might be able to remove this, remove these um, caps, remove the bolts that are here, and then pop this down and uh, you know, snake your hand up in there and try to get to the bolts that hold the wiper assembly in place. I'm not gonna do that because I don't think I'll have success at that. So I am going to um, remove this. This is what you do, you remove this first and then you snap, unsnap all these down and then <clears throat> and then that's it. Then the whole thing, um, actually, <laughs> I was gonna say the whole thing comes down with the exception of these. Um, you either have to pop these off or there is a way that I've seen people sort of like shove this rubber back through the plastic and I think I've done that before. And basically there you, uh, you know, you, you don't have to pop these off. They just sort of stay in place. Um, I think that'll work. If you notice they're skinnier at this end than they are at this end. So if you can kind of get it started down here and then I don't know, that might not be the way to go. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take some video along the way. Okay, so I popped off this cover. I found that, so this, this cover sits up here like this. I found that if you kind of try to get your fingers in this way, you know, from the glass side, and then sort of almost like you're rotating it down, then it'll pop off. You could probably also try to fish in some of the, you know, the plastic trim removal tools, like the Harbor Freight ones and stuff. Um, but uh, you could just do it by hand. These clips are pretty robust. If you need to replace them, they're available. I don't know the part number. These two covers here just pop off with the screwdriver. This is what they look like on the back. So if you stick a little thin screwdriver in that slot that's there, and it just sort of um, looks like this. So then just sort of pry down, then they'll pop off. Would you believe me if I told you that this is held in by four 10 millimeter screws. Well, I guess they're actually, what, M6 10 millimeter heads. But anyway, they're at a little bit of an angle, so you'll have to just kind of poke a head up in there to look um, so you can get the tool to catch the head of the bolt. All right, so I got those off. Now, the only thing holding this together, I believe, is, uh, I can't remember if these have to come off. So I am gonna try to pop them off and see if there's something behind there. It feels like it's a clip, can't remember. 
forgive me and my bad memory, but they indeed needed to, needed to come out. They're just these little, you know, these stupid clips that you gotta like pry the top and then take the receiver out. And I just use the lovely Harbor Freight. I don't know what you call this. Oh, this isn't even Harbor Freight. This is from, this is a Type S. This is from one of those stupid, um, crappy like LED kits you get. Anyway, um, so I took those two out. Let's just do another scan here and see if there's anything else. That doesn't seem like it's anchored into the structure. Neither does that. It seems like we're ready to go here. Um, I don't see anything else that looks like it'll be holding us. So, looks like we could just sort of, oh yeah, look at that. It's like, it looks, it's like it wants to come out. Yep, so anyway, I better get my hand, um, my camera hand, so I can help my non-camera hand do this, do this task, so I don't break anything. All right, looking at it from follow this latch to here, there's this opening. There's a cover here. I took it off, you don't need to. Heads up, we can just leave it. It's all good. We got a little further. So one thing I wanted to point out, so these are, these are just little green poppers. And if you just start at the top and kind of work your way around, then, then you just, you're basically fighting one at a time instead of trying to fight the whole gang. So, and then if you have a little bit of a light, which I don't, but you can kind of see in there, you know, there's, there's one right here and it's in, oriented in uh, this direction. So I really need to pull down, not, not that way. That's it. All right, I gotta get to the part where I handle these things now. So, uh, gotta fight that. I would consider my, uh, I think these are called travel stops. I, I would consider them to be ruined because you could see how wiggly they were. They weren't always like that. So I just popped them off. If everything goes well, this will be the last time I have to take this piece of plastic off of the car. So um, I'm gonna, when I put it back together, I'll put these on, and then when the replacements arrive, I'll swap them out. Now it should just really fall. Okay, I really wanted to show you the back of this so I could better describe how to apply your force. Um, you know, once you get the three green ones here on the sides, then, or the two green ones on the sides there, so here and here, they change directions, and they're pointing almost like up and away from the back of the car kind of like those two. So those you'll need to change how you're pulling. When you get to the middle, um, if you've got the two screws out, this is the back of those, those screw holes right here, in here. So if you just grab it by the handle and just sort of pull downward as if you're gonna close the trunk, then you'll pop this one out and that one out and that one out. And it'll just be this one here remaining. And this is the one that's up that is essentially covering the motor um, the windshield wiper motor. The windshield wiper motor sits in this pocket here. So your natural response is to kind of like try to rotate this down. Well, don't do that because you'll snap the plug off or the you'll snap this thing off. You got to make sure to grab it, you know, reach your hand up from up here, kind of just tug this down and it should just pop because it's already got the weight of this whole thing hanging on it. It just needs that little extra, um, what do you call it? Motivation to come apart. So that's that. I'm gonna set that here somewhere where it won't fall. And take note of how dirty it is. Good grief. So just imagine probably all the panels in the car are that dirty. Just something to keep in mind if you have allergies. All right, so uh, now it's uh, really easy. You've got access to the, these are the three bolts that hold this on. And of course you can't forget to from the outside of the car and do this first you need to uh need to flip this thing back and take that nut off of there so that you can take the wiper on assembly off super easy stuff but has to be done oh that comes off i forgot about that yeah this this lifts up and then you can pull it away Make sure you get that off, that way it doesn't go falling onto your freshly ceramic coated black car. All right, let's do it. 10 millimeter once again. 
I've got a nice cotton shirt on. I'm gonna use that to sort of hold the trunk in place since I, I definitely should have done this first, but I forgot. I've had this apart already, so this isn't like Loctited on or anything stupid like that. Okay. This whole thing can be done with 10 millimeter. That's pretty cool. I'll set that out here since it's not going back into the car. And let's see if I need my second hand for this or not. Second hand, probably. Oops, sorry. I couldn't see that. So what you got to do, if you could see that, is it's it's stuck in this position because of the position of the, um, I don't know what you call that piece, the axle that the motor or the wiper rides on. So if you kind of get it, just lift it up. Remember, when you lift this, you're going to bang it into the wing, so be careful. So just lift it up as much as you can and try to wiggle it like I did and then get it to where it can go this way, you know, further off of that, um, um, that press on piece. And then you can totally stand the arm up and once you do that you should be able to lift it right off no problem so that comes off we'll set that over here this comes off just give that a twist Ooh, look at that something that we can't use a 10 millimeter for i forgot all right well this is good we're doing this i well, we gotta go to 24. All right, so it fits. <laughs> and look at that. Either I didn't tighten it properly last time, or, you know, it's, well, you remember, with this nut, you're squeezing the glass. So you don't want to over tighten it. So that kind of makes sense. Because you don't want to shatter the glass. You just want it to be tight enough. All right, that can come off. Go over here. We're done with this tool, so let's put that away so we don't have a dropping accident. plastic trim tool again. Sorry, I bet you couldn't even see that. We're just sort of working this through in here. Work it around, get that ring off. So that rubber gasket comes out when you, after you drop the motor assembly out, then you can get that rubber gasket out. Hey, by the way, if you're doing this on your car, then this would also be a pretty optimal time to install a rear um, camera, if you're into that kind of thing. And additionally, um, this is a really good time to clean all the edges of your window tint. If you're having your window tint done, um, this is, I guess, where you're going to stop. You're going to probably leave your motor in place. All right, so... Uh, Let's see, we got a plug here, and one, two, three tens, and I think that's it. You can take this out the bottom. I can't, I can't possibly do this with you know, holding a camera with one hand and, and taking care of the bolts with the other. You can take these two out and then this third one will hold it, um, but these are slotted, if you can kind of, you can kind of see in there. So this is just the last one holding it on. Okay, so once I took that bolt out, and it just sort of slides out. This is sort of a, it's a taper fit, um, slightly taper, going through that rubber o-ring. And then I think the rubber o-ring will come out the top, I forget. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So that's the next step, and really the last step of the disassembly. Oh, keep in mind when you're turning these bolts that your tools are, you know, next to glass. So if you're... Like if you're not a real mechanic, no, no offense, but if you're not used to doing this, then just be careful, please. Because you could put your wrench through the glass <laughs> or shatter it or whatever. This is looking like it's gonna be fun to do with one hand, so I might have to put the camera down again. All right, now that rubber piece is out. Um, you can take a look at it and see that there's a little tiny arrow here. And I believe, I mean, I could be wrong, but this, so this, this singular arrow to me indicated that that was the outside. And then this is the inside. The inside has 
um, the numbers or letters and number and then still has the arrow but um, but that means that's the inside so all right so let's stop for a second here at this point um, you can see every this is everything that had to be done to get this wing off so let's let's take a second and look at that so to get that wing off if you've got to do window tint and you're trying to do the one piece then now you've got to take these um, these two I think you don't necessarily have to take this off I can't remember for sure but you definitely have to take these two off these two off take that tail light out of there Mine, does it look like there's a spider in there? Freaking hey. I'm gonna have to do something about that. May as well do that now while I have it this far apart. Anyway, so take those two lights out. Then I believe there is a, I think there's a third screw that has to come out of here. Or a third nut, I should say. There's a nut there. Same on the other side. And then for the, um, what actually holds the wing in place, I believe there's this nut that comes out don't have the best lighting ah oh, there's a nut there maybe it becomes more apparent once you get the light out all right i gotta get the light out because i can't stand having the freaking um thing there the spider or whatever that is i wanted to pop that out quick and see if i can clean it all right, let's take that out and see if I can get anything in there and try to get that clean or not. I don't think so, though. All right, I got the tail light out or the, the trunk tail light out, whatever you want to call it. And then I remembered that there's a there's a bolt here that has to come out, right, right there. Just a ten, and then there's one on the other side too. So that's why the tail lights have to come out. And these are kind of tricky to get out because of this plastic um, pin here. Actually, that was the hardest part. The two screws and then the nut, they're easy, of course. But getting that thing to unpop is tough. So, here's what I got in my hand. You can see that critter in there. I probably have almost no chance of getting it out, but I'm gonna try because that's what I gotta do. All right, hiding that stupid spider ended up being a bit of a pain, and it's not 100% perfect, but it's a lot better, and in fact, from here, yeah, you really can't even see it, and there's nothing I can do about that last little leg that's stuck in there. Basically, you take the tail light out, hold it so this side is to the top, and then tap on it, then you can get something that's in there to travel back down this way, and then there's a little opening between um, this side and this, the edge of this lens here. So I just got it to kind of fall back in there, and I could not get it to come out the tiny little um, exit hole that's under here. So it's just going to be in there, and hopefully it never comes back. If it does, at least I know how to get to it. Um, I cleaned out this area, um, wiped it out. Wiped that out using some Americana Global Mystic. Which is it's good for more than just door jams and stuff. It's perfect for this place because that's, that's all I'm doing is just... Uh, Wiping off this little spot here. Get the tail light nice and clean. Okay. Good to go. So, some other things to, or some quick things to maybe think about. Like I said, I think you ought to clean, or I'm going to clean that win window. Looks like something gooey got on there. <laughs> um, you'll want to zip tie this. Whoa, look at that. The harness production date 13 May 2017. I picked the car up in July. Can you see that? There it is, it's upside down, sorry. But anyway, I would suggest taking a zip tie and zip tying this to here just so you don't get a rattle. Um, if you're like me and um, you've got a camera back here and you've got some extra cable, then now's a good time to zip tie that into place and get that tucked up out of the way. Make sure you don't get vibration. Uh, clean the window, clean the back of the plastic, and then finally put it all back together. Oh. While you got the plastic out, it's a heck of a time to put any protection that you're gonna put on the plastic. Whether you use a Meguiar's product or an Americana Global product, you know, it's up to you. Whatever's your favorite, whatever you got handy. Um, either either one will work, of course. Personal preference, Americana Global's gonna last the longest, but you know, if you wanna buy any of that stuff, click the link down below. Are you seeing this? Click the link down below. Yes, please do. 
And if you ever see any other products in my garage, yeah, I try out competitor stuff because I want to know for sure that Americana Global stuff is the best. Oh, yeah, here, there's something to say. What I, what I was attempting to show you there was uh, this is the rubber piece that we're going to use to block off the glass. And it's just a rubber, uh, I think they call it, I forget what they call it. I found the part number on, after searching through the one forum or the, uh, the XGen group it's on Facebook and, and found this part. So I, I didn't have to dig around or anything else. Found out the LE just has different glass. All right, let's get this thing in place. Um, is there any protection that you put on this? Probably not. Maybe some silicone or something? Nah, we'll just go like this. And then uh, we can start putting this thing together. I'm just full of tips. So I just noticed that this glass has like a ring around it from where the old stuff sat. And the new block off is slightly smaller. So you're gonna see that ring. So what we're gonna do right now before I get any further is clean this area of the glass so that it's clean. It'll be harder to clean once the rubber block off place is in place. This is one, gonna be one of those occasions where I don't spray product onto the glass. I'm gonna spray it onto the towel. And you know what I'm gonna use, not the stoners. Americana Global Clarity. Just in case it does get wet, I just wanna have that extra little bit of protection. All right, well, fun fact time. Um, so let's get this, get this down here. So I cleaned that the best I could. And as it turns out, this ring is kind of etched in there. And I know it's etched in there because, see how my fingernail catches it? So I'm not gonna spend any more time trying to get that clean because I think it's part of the glass now. It's a feature. So let's get this thing together and be done. Okay, we did some zip tying here. We got this um, plug up and out of the way so it can't vibrate. Got the plug in here. I ended up putting a little bit of baby soap on it just to make it um, a little easier to get in place. Baby soap is super safe for skin and everything else, so I felt pretty good about using that. Um, I zip tied these in this, this extra cable here to the, the harness loom. And I usually like to catch, uh, zip tie it near the anchor points. I missed one here and, and one here, but um, this one is near an anchor point. This one's near an anchor point. So that should be pretty good at keeping it quiet. All right, so the rest of this reassembly is kind of this reverse. So I don't think I'm gonna go over any of it unless uh, something comes up that I think is worth sharing. Okay, everything's buttoned up. And if you remember, there used to be a little, you could just see the edge of the wire poking out there. That's been taken care of. Everything's back together. Um, unfortunately, uh, these are pretty wiggly and destroyed, damaged, whatever. So they're gonna have to be replaced. This is all scratched here. And that was from the last time I did that. So I'm gonna have to replace that as well. These are things I don't mind doing. Let's take a look at the finished product. Gotta clean the window, but look at that. Oh man, that's so much better. Isn't that much better? I think it's much better. Definitely better. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, check down in the description. I'll put as much as I can about the tools I used and parts I used, things like that. Thanks for watching. Always remember, keep right and pass left. And um, yeah, if you're looking for any of the detailing stuff that I sell or use, please do visit beturismo.com. Thanks for watching. Always remember to mind the gap.